Hey guys, this is Swordfish. Today I am playing Return of the Obra Dinn. This is a GDC demo. It's very early in production. This game is by Lucas Pope, most well known for Papers, Please, which was a huge hit, um, really highly acclaimed from everyone. So this is his next game, so people are, are really excited about it, and I wanted to check it out. Obviously, the art is crazy. <laughs> um... You'll see it's this shaders is, is really awesome. Anyway, um, let me describe it. In 1802, the merchant ship Obradin set out from London for the Orient with over 200 tons of trade goods. Six months later, it hadn't met its rendezvous point at the Cape of Good Hope and was declared lost at sea. Early this morning of October 14th, 1807, five years later, the Obradin drifted into port with sails damaged and no visible crew. As insurance adjuster for the East India Company's London office... Find means to board the ship and recover the crew muster roll log, roll book for assessment. So, it's a mystery sort of thing. Let us begin. Lost at Sea, 1803. The good ship Oberdin. Built 1796. London, 800 tons. 18 foot draught. Captain R. Witterell. Crew, 51 men. Last voyage to Orient. Cape Rendezvous unmet. Contact East Italy. East India Company, London Office for Inquiries or Testimony. Falmouth, England, 1807. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Old Bread Inn. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Alright, so we got ferried on this rowboat out to the Oberdin by this guy who didn't wasn't particularly helpful. And he's gonna ferry up this box, so I need to board the ship. Here we are. Hey, buddy. Give me my box, please. Oh. Whoa. That was a really cool, really cool, subtle little animation. If you look out, he grabs the thing. Nice attention to detail. Anyway, here's the Oprah Din. I need to take this opportunity, first of all, to show off the different shaders for this. It's all the same. It's two color. It's like a dark color and a light color, but... They're different monitors. So that was Macintosh. This is IBM 5151. This is Zenith ZVM 1240. Commodore 1084. IBM 8503. And back to Macintosh. I'm going to play with Macintosh because it's the default. I'm also... What does this output precise or analog do? Interesting. It turns it from sort of like digital, really digital pixely to oh reduced that probably smooths it a lot and then precise is this like really sharp pixel i'm gonna go with the defaults anyway so i am on this ship as an insurance adjuster looking for the crew muster roll book which is probably in the captain's quarter so i need to figure out how to do stuff on this ship or where to go um how did i get in here oh so the con all the controls is basically walk around and like space to interact. I'm not sure if there's a way to tell what you can interact with or not. Because it took me, the first time I played it when I was trying to test it out, I couldn't figure out how to climb that ladder for a while until I accidentally pressed space. So We'll see. We got up there, that's the, the I don't remember what the words for parts of a ship are. This is a thing. Um, this is a cage? Or like a lobster pot or something? There wouldn't be a lobster in in India. Um, okay. There's doors. I'm guessing I gotta go to the door. Let me just look up here. Realistic clear, uh, stair climbing speed. That's interesting, too. You don't see that a lot. Alright. Let's go... Uh, oh. Okay. So the interaction is... When you reach your hand out, that is the indicator of an interaction. Oh, which actually, I could have interacted with this thing. That's what that hand meant. 
that I pointed out. So let me do that. Oi! Oh. It's too heavy. Oh, I guess I'll climb back down. It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. Um. I guess I'll take it. Oh, oh, interesting. Memento mortem. Remember death. Interesting. Thanks, dude. Sorry about that. Uh, let me head back up, I guess. This is a ghost ship, so spooky mementos are probably par for the course. Oh. Was that not... That wasn't there before. Am I remembering his death? Open the door! Kick it in. Let me break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Whoa. Time and time is frozen. Holy crap, this is so cool. So time is frozen on the moment of his death. They tried to break in. The captain shot him. This is amazing. There's the the gunpowder, the bullet flying out, and then this guy getting shot with the blood splatter. That is so cool. This guy is like, whoa! And there's another guy up here. What else is going on up front or back? So the memory, the world kind of ends at the end of the memory, which is interesting. Uh, and then there's this guy. Oh, and now I saw everything and then it closed in. <sighs> wow. That was so cool. So that's how this guy died. He got shot by the captain. Now I see stuff in there in the captain's room, but I'm going to see if there's any more of those on the ship anywhere now. No. There's not. I suspect there will be. This is, like I said, a super early demo version of the game, so. I would expect there to be a lot more stuff in the future. So that's how this guy died. Let's. Well, the door out all sparkly. Find the crew muster roll book. Okay. Um. Oh, in the captain's quarters, because that is my goal, after all. Whoa. Okay, so the captain shot this guy. That's what happened first. Let's see what happened to who he is and how he died. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. <laughs> Wow. So this is the guy who got shot. Now he's dead. This guy just slit his neck, slit his throat with a with a knife. This other door must be the other entrance to his quarters, so I don't need to go in the, out in that one also. There's a book. Could that be the roll of the logbook? Well, I guess I would see... The idea is probably that I would see it in the, like, death dreams and then know where to look for it. So that could be a thing to look for. Um, nothing here. Oh, there's a guy... 
There's a guy falling. Oh, that's the, um, I saw him running up before. He ran up and then jumped down over here, so he might be coming in from the back. Or something cool like that. That's really interesting. All right. Wow. So there was nothing over here, and there shouldn't still be. Oh, this goes around. So that guy was out there. There might be his bones. We'll see in a minute. Um, there's a dead guy. There's also a book here. This could be the book. I'm going to inspect these other dead guys first, just in case... Oh, is that a knife? It sure is. Uh, just in case taking the book ends the demo. Wow, that one didn't even have any any language in it, any words. So this is the, I just like, that it, they keep recapping. There's that guy, and then there's this guy, he got his throat slit, now he's dead. And yeah, the knife-wielding guy from outside came in the back, and the captain, and stabbed him in the side. And then the captain turned around and smashed his head in, brutal, with uh, something else, something on the ground. Out here is, I guess, the captain's quarters. There's a dead guy. That's, or maybe he's asleep. I suspect that he's dead because of the situation. Uh, so that's interesting. Now, this door got unlocked, I think, between the last two. Um, so that's interesting, too. Maybe he went in here and got that thing or something. There's that knife. The knife got moved. The knife was over here. Now the knife is over there. Uh, and is anybody else around? I don't think so. I think that's all the people. Okay, so that's the captain's log. So, in here, yeah, there's another... There's that guy. Ooh, he's now a skeleton. He was dead. And then there's this guy. Now, who is that? This is interesting. Because that... He shot that guy. He stabbed... He slit this guy's throat. He brained this guy with this club thing. How did he die? Well, he's got a gun next to him, so... We'll see. Abigail. Your brother. My friend. I shot him. Dead. I'll be with you. Soon, my love. Please forgive me. For everything. Oof. So, he, uh, wounded. He was wounded here. He kind of staggered in here. I guess this is his wife. Abigail, maybe? He's talking to her? Or maybe he's just talking to Abigail up there. Either way, he shot himself. Ugh, splattered on the wall. Boy. Now this guy out here is dead, so he really he got everybody. And if she he said he shot her brother, maybe this was her brother. That could be. Hmm. Okay. I know what happened here. I don't know why they attacked necessarily. It sounded like they threw something to the bottom of the sea. Maybe they, like, revolted and, like, they were carrying all these goods. Maybe they, like, revolted and threw the goods away or something. Um, and then he killed them. He killed everybody, really. I gotta see Abigail, too, before, or whoever that is, before I get the book. I love that indicator. The time spinning backwards and the crazy music. So Abigail went out in a storm. Oh, that's really sad. So this is a totally different state of things. 
the boat is like in. Oh, these are. Whoa! Whoa, this is a wave crashing over the side. So they were in a storm. Also, that looks like a giant octopus. Or a giant squid attacking them. Holy crap, I did not expect that. They're getting attacked by a giant squid. The squid knocks over a mast. The mast falls on the captain's wife. He gets out of the way. He's coming up with a gun to shoot the giant squid. This guy's terrified. These women are poking their head out. Wow. So the answer to what happened to the Obra Dinn, oh, this guy was trying to right the mast. It got attacked by a giant squid. Whoa. That is not what I was expecting. Good luck reporting that, East India Company dude. So she fell on... The mast fell on her. Where is that? Is that... Missing? Was that this? Mast, maybe? It's interesting that that's gone. Maybe the squid took it when it fell. Or I guess they probably cleaned up, because it didn't sink the ship or anything. Because these people are in different places. And that squid wasn't happening. Uh, but that also showed me that there was a downstairs. I didn't realize there was... I missed this completely. Uh, so before I get the book... Okay, end of demo. Or not. So I never got the book. I want to do that. So... If you hold on just a second, I'm going to speed run this demo real quick so I can get the book. I want to see. I want to see what it was. Well, this is very cool. Very smart of a demo, Lucas. <laughs> um, it, it didn't reset. It let me... It went back to where it was so that if I missed anything, I could go back and check it out. That's for... So, I... The only thing I missed was this, so... Crew muster roll for the good ship Obradin, departing to Formosa. Verified accurate and complete on March 20th, 1802. By Edward Greenstall, agent of the Honorable East India Company. Name. Oh, these are all the crews. All the crew. Their names. These, I'm gonna guess, are maybe the developer's friends. <laughs> Quality, what they did. Fate. Whoa. So that is what I have to do. That is so interesting. So the goal, I would guess, is to atta attain, ascertain the fates of most of these people. So fate of Robert. Suicide. Suicide by gun. Suicide with a gun. William, the first mate. Now, he shot the woman's husband his he, he shot his wife's brother i don't know so he's witterall so his wife would be okay i had a i had a little technical issue and i had to restart and actually play from the beginning and i noticed something interesting that i missed before one this skeleton was here the whole time and i just didn't see it <laughs> the first time i walked around but besides that when i came in here and i walked down the stairs and said uh i guess i missed that this was open this was not open also when i started this captain's door was locked uh, what, uh, what I I guess I didn't notice or didn't mention was that, um, and that's why it's super pixelated. See how the door is pixelated and that this is really pixelated? Or, like, you know, glowing in some way? Uh, when you do your dead body inspection, it opens another door. I don't know if that's for the demo, for the purposes of the demo, to, like, force people to progress through it in the way that, that he wants, or if that's going to be a mechanic in the game itself. Which is kind of interesting because the effect that it has is like, yeah, see, this is, is blurry. This door is, well, there's no door here. Um, the effect that it has is making you kind of go, oh, I guess I missed that. Like, I said that when I opened this. Like, oh, I guess I missed that the first time. Which is sort of the feeling that you'd get, I think, if you were, if this were actually happening to you. Where you, like, blacked out and woke up and the th one thing was different, <laughs> like the door was open you might have that same, like, kind of confused reaction, which I think is kind of interesting if that were what he was going for. So, in the logbook, your goal is to ascertain the fate of all these people. Um, and, obviously, one, this ship looks enormous to have this many people on it, but I know that it was, like, really uncomfortably tight, and we didn't see how big the below deck was. So... 
The captain is Robert Witterall. He, I did this before, suicide by gun. The other three guys he killed, the first mate, second mate, third mate, we didn't know what their ranks were, but, so I, I don't know how we can tell, they did have accents that were different. Uh, so I closed out and it says, determine the fate of everyone on board. I don't know if it's going to press tab to open the crew muster roll. Okay, so now I can walk around and do that. So I'm just going to watch these three guys' uh, position, this, these three guys' videos again, or their death things, and see if I can figure out, based on their accent, which which people they are. Um, I would assume that they were the first mate, second mate, third mate. I don't know if there's any way for me to tell, but I'm going to try. They're, one of them, well, two of them are Scottish, but one of them is English, so maybe if I can... I can figure it out. The other positions are, I mean, fourth mate, like, I don't really know, like, I could probably figure some of it out. I'm not going to go back and really think about it this, and I don't know the positions of people on a ship, but, like, in the, um, in the, the giant squid dream, there was a guy coming up from below deck, there was a guy over here working this thing. This guy's job is probably something to do with the mast and whatever. So, like, may be able to get it from that, figure out, like, if I recognize that guy, that's his job, and then see him somewhere else later. Like, he might be one of these guys. And then I could figure out his position by what he was doing. I don't know if, if the game has any intent of doing that. I think it would be really cool if it did. So, this is the captain. I got that. So, I'm going to watch these guys' things and see if I can pick up anything from from their accents. Captain! Open the door! Kick it in. Ah! Lest we break it down and take more than those shells! Okay, so he's definitely Scottish. You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Oh, and now I can skip them again. Oh, really awesome. Oh, well, I could skip that. I don't think I can skip this. They last a minute. I'll uh, I'll give it. I'll, I'll sit, sit and wait. Okay, so two of them are the first mate and the third mate are both Scottish. I'm gonna assume that that's that was one of those two. Um, this guy. Let's see here. Must be in here someplace. <laughs> there, right. All right. So that guy was Bottom English. That's a lie. <laughs> uh, so this is the captain again. This is that guy. Oh, he had this weapon. That's where that weapon came from. Um. Oh, he he probably was this guy standing here. He charged in that spear thing. He's English. So we have the Scottish guy, the English guy, and then this guy, I guess, is going to be another Scottish guy. And then her brother. I don't remember if it said, like, her brother's position on the ship. So we have, yeah, we have a Scottish and an English guy. The Scottish guy was stabbed. The, Eng the Scottish guy, one of the Scottish guys was shot. One of the English guys was stabbed. So this last guy, I guess, is going to be Scottish. He'll probably be one of them. Uh, his wife's brother was the guy who got shot? I don't... Oh! Mmm! Uh, so, Robert Witterall. Let's see if I can find his wife. Abigail, that's her. She's from Scotland. Aha! Aha! So, Abigail's brother is also going to be from Scotland. So one of the two Scottish guys is the one who got shot. Well, I knew that already, so I guess that wasn't really that helpful. <laughs> that revelation wasn't really that helpful, but the detective work, you can see it. Uh, let's inspect this guy. Oh, I don't think they talk at all. I remember that now. They don't talk. Ah. Now, maybe I could recognize him from somewhere else. I'm not sure. I don't even know if this mystery is solvable in the demo. I would I would expect it would be, but I don't know what else I can really think about. 
he snuck down from up here in the first in this guy's death thing that guy was on this stairs ready to jump down behind him but I don't know like I don't know where he would be let's see if the captain has anything to say about it again okay he uh just said my brother my friend your brother my friend I know Abigail got hit by the giant squid so I don't know that I'm gonna be able to figure that out I may just not be thinking of it enough but I can say definitely that Abigail died was killed by now was she killed by a beast cynicals she was killed by the mast falling on her but I'm gonna say she was killed by a beast cynicals <laughs> <laughs> because that is what happened. So that's it for me for the the return of the Oberdin. This is a really, really cool idea. I really like where it's going. Um, I'm not sure, again, the developer has said that this doesn't reflect the final design. As always, demos don't. But the idea he's got going on here is really, really cool. A mystery that you kind of solve by using a, a watch to look at how people died. Brilliant idea. So, um... Keep an eye on this game. This was shown at GDC, I think, for the first time this year. So it's got a little ways to go. But, uh, you know, keep an eye on it. Do your old mailing list and Twitter follows and whatever. And, and make sure you keep an eye on this one because it's super cool. Maybe I'll play it again when it comes out. It might not be for a little while, but we'll see. Um, oh, the clouds are moving by the moon. That's very cool. Or the sun or whatever that is. Anyway.